Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and I wanted to do a solo run-through of a Wanted Silent Fang. This is the Wanted Bounty for Powerful Gear, 540 power level, and this one is in the EDZ in the Sludge. So hunt down Silent Fang who escaped from the Prison Velders. So once you load in at your uh, location, you're going to drive on through and go get this thing started. Not too hard to get to. It's over here in this section over here. Probably have a couple enemies to shoot on your way over. Nobody major. And just so I can talk in some peace. There we go, we're good. Nope. There we go. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and activate the adventure so we can actually have the instance activated. And we'll jump down into the Lost Sector. Now, FYI for my build, I'm going Ace of Spades, just because it's a decently powerful hand cannon. Seems to be working so far. You can use really whatever you want in this one. Um, kind of your option. You're going to have to kind of peek to get your chances to do damage to the main boss, and there's only certain time frames you're going to be able to. So, Grenade Launcher seems to work pretty well for me. The higher your power level, the better. These guys have red swords to me. If I was 530, they probably would be a little lower, but they were still going down. Either way, power level is definitely going to matter in this one, and it's not going to be the easiest one to solo. So once you get down into the Cavern of Souls, start working your way through the adds. You're going to have your one wanted dude who's at the start, and there's really not much you can do about him. You just have to work him down. He's in there, just like the other times. I think we had a uh, Minotaur just fighting some of the adds, whatever it was. He just seems to be hanging out in the beginning, putting in some work. All right, so now that these guys are down, let's see if we can drop a few more of these. Servitor up at the top, still gonna be annoying. If you haven't got Ace of Spades, by the way, I understand the struggle is hard, but keep putting in that work. I promise you it's worth it. Really, one away? All right. So clear everything kind of in pieces as you push forward. I wouldn't get too aggressive. There are some heavy guys that you do not want to get too close to. This would definitely be one of them. As you guys can see, those Momentum Mori shots are quite powerful, dropping this guy down. Now, Exploder Shanks are basically the big deal for this mission. What they're going to do is drop little explosive orbs, and you have to throw those at little shield generators, mostly. There's a time later on when you're fighting the boss that you have to do something else. Now, I'm only going to pick up one, just because the more of these you have, the better. They don't seem to disappear. Any of these wanted bounties that are 540, whatever drops on the ground, doesn't seem to have a time limit for how long it stays. But when you throw it, you want to throw it at this shield generator. Remember this look. You're going to be doing this quite a bit. So the shield will drop. And if you got one more, bring it with you in case you missed. If not, no big deal. You'll get more. So the idea of what's going on up here is this little hole that I'm going to peek out of right here. You're going to want to be able to come back in here. There's no reason you can't. There's no wall that pops up. You're not stuck in the room. But the main reason is it's kind of a tight room and it's dark and the boss really hurts. So try and find your bearings in the room. I know it's dark. Believe me, I've been turned around many times. But if you try and find your bearings and you're able to come back in here, you can reheal up and do things from here, even if you have to pick stuff off from far away. Respawning is restricted, and the boss is down there. Now you'll notice he's sitting next to a shield generator. So what you want to do is throw these explosive charges at the shield generators, and then you'll notice he's still immune. There are multiple ones around the room. There's one, two, I think there's a total of four. At least I've taken one of them out. But you're going to have a lot of shanks to deal with for a little while, and also him. Now, depending on how aggressive he decides to be up on your location, sometimes he'll teleport away, making life a little easier. And this is why I bring something with some range, like this bow. So I can work some of these guys off from a distance. And the Explorer Shanks, you will see the orbs drop. Now, there's not much else you can do if he's hung on your location. I will show you guys another location that you can actually run to. Now, this first part... Watch for any other type of shanks that may be doing damage or shooting you. Because if you're taking damage and you have to restart this fight, it's not fun. So look for your shanks. Take those out early. They're going to keep popping up in waves. Don't worry. But jump in here if you can. Pick up an explosive. Throw it at a shield. It's 
probably going to teleport on my head. And another explosive shield generator here. Now there's one more in the back and there's nothing you can do but wait for more guys to come out. Now if you're in the back of the room, technically you can run back here, duck under here, and you'll notice there's kind of a invisible wall that you can't do anything, but you are fairly safe back here. I know the white balance on this section is pretty awful, but you are safe back here. Now you can peek up if you need to. Come on out, work on your tracer shanks. Obviously, as they are snipers, watch those guys, they will hurt. You know, peek up, work guys from a distance, throw grenades where you can. You know, if you gotta clear out some ads, those will work well. If he teleports up on you and you gotta hide, come back in here. He's not real fun, his shotgun hurts a lot. And I actually can damage him right now, which seems really odd because he's standing next to a shield thing. Sometimes it's just you need to do enough damage for him to want another shield. Yeah, there it is. I haven't actually figured out entirely what always drops the shield. It does seem to be the shield generators, and then later on it's going to be servitors. Ow. So he will back off eventually. You're not just going to be stuck with him in your face the entire time, but look for your shanks. This is so out of balance right now, it's awful in that corner. And here's your main target, are your exploding servitors, exploding shanks. So once they drop, try and catch their uh, explosives before they roll away. And if I have actually dropped the shield, which it seems like I have, everything in the room's a bit easier to kill and not shielded. You also have a couple marauders that will come at you. Watch out for those. Ace of spades, nice uh, bullets do well here. Those momentum mori momentum mori bullets on this gun are so good, and they're just fun to use. So you definitely need to work on being mobile, jumping around, and being able to kind of give yourself a little space around the room when you need it. So at this point, you can either dump your heavy ammo, get a boost, you know, damage shot on him, or if you want to clear the ads, just to make sure you're relatively safe, and put some damage in as you can. However you see fit, that is up to you. My only advice about supers, try and find something that's at long range. I'm at missile, which is unfortunately not great, because if I do smash him, he's still going to bash the ground around me, which is less fun for everyone. Now, you can pick up these explosives. Of course, when he does that, that's special. But my real advice, grenade launcher, decent amount of ammo, rally barricade, possibly. Wrong barricade. But pump some damage into him. We'll take out these marauders first. Let's see if I can find big boy. And the ads do seem to be somewhat time-based. They don't stand around forever, kind of like I am. Definitely get on trying to get some damage on him. So that's why grenade launchers work. It's a quick pop. Watch those shanks, watch your walls. And you're gonna basically get him down to uh, two thirds and then the next wave will generally begin. So I try not to dump my heavy, but I seem to get a decent amount of it in this thing, so I'm kind of okay with it. So, at this point, he should probably get a shield. If not now, he's going to get one really soon. Uh, he's shielded, so now the servitor is the fun one. So, same principle, but different thing you have to break the shield of. Now, if you're with multiple people, and I'm going to have to test this when I run it later on, here's why I say it's kind of hard to find in the dark. But if you can get back up in here, you're totally safe. Nothing will come at you. If you have grenades, it's a great way to fight it. Throw a grenade out there. If it's totally useless, well, you can only do so much. So I like something with range to help with any of these shanks from range. Not having to worry too much about him. These rocks actually work pretty well to uh, avoid some of his damage, but definitely not all, as you can tell. And again, if he sees just unloading on this doorway, give him a minute, he'll teleport away. At some point he does move, even if you don't think he's gonna. Watch out for your shanks, you got the exploders. Now, the thing about the exploding orbs now is you have to hit the servitor. I don't know if you hit them together if it's gonna work better, but if you hit them separately, I will show you guys, it's really hard to kill the servitor by yourself without about four or five of these things, and that gets to be a bit unfortunate, and so does getting caught in a really tough spot. So this is where basically the hidey holes on the front or back will help you where you can. Again, the white balance on this side of the room is awful, so if you can't see anything, I apologize. Now, everything's shielded because that servitor's out, so everything's a little bit harder to kill, especially because you're still under-leveled, and again, retreat if you need to. It's always safer to do that. As I've already dumped my heavy ammo into him, I don't want to do it again. Alright, so those guys are down. You got a little bit. 
See if you can find a point where you can grab those exploding orbs. They're just in the middle of everything right now, which is not great. This is kind of your pillar of safety. And also the elevation. Alright, he's back. So now, you're going to see how this works. Well, I'm going to throw it at the servitor. You're going to see I'll drop the shield, but it comes back so fast I literally cannot pull out my gun and fire. So you have to hit it with about four explosive orbs to get it to drop. So it's a slow process, say, in the absolute least. Grenades will hopefully help if you can pull some of those guys into it. And again, that is why both either this or the opposite side will work well for you to drop some of these guys down. Again, trying to wait for him to move. Hi. You're fun. Servitor over here. Those tracers will hurt more than you think, so don't let them tag you too many times. You know, it would be really great if you were not standing on the explosive orb. That'd be awesome. Well, and if you need to move him, and again, if you're looking for your points, if you see this, like, fake opening, go to the right. This is your way to get back in here. See if I can pull him over. He went farther back, which is interesting. I need your servitor, buddy. There we go. Alright, so now is my shot. Pick up the explosive orb. Throw it at said servitor if I can get a shot at it. Now, you can hold on to this thing for a while. There's not really a timer on it. Or at least move it back to where I can use the thing. Hi! That's not cool. He's immune. The rest of his buddies aren't. It's not going to roll that far. You're mostly okay. This is not really what to call a great hiding place, but it is a hiding place. At some point, these guys kind of do have to move. Maybe a grenade will do something out there. Good lord. Move, buddy. So now the problem is I'm going to die. Oh, I don't even know how I didn't die. Try and find my hole in the back. And take my orb up in here. This is why it's a bit dicey by yourself. Things hurt, lots of stuff out there, and that server is not the easiest to find. If you get a shot at it, throw it. You gotta keep it going and you gotta do it about four times. So keep the progress going. Uh, wrong hole in the wall. Sorry. Again, look for just the elevation to come up just a little bit. I have armamentary on, on, so double grenades is definitely a good thing. And again, once your orbs are down, you'll get a couple more exploder shanks that you can kill. So it's kind of a slow process, uh, but this is the general idea. It seems like this will be the last two phases will work this way. So once you get them down to a third, another servitor comes out. So if you need anything else from the video, um, you know, that's up to you guys. You can finish it out. If you feel like you've gotten enough to go tackle it on your own, go for it. I respect you as well. Now that wasn't a great throw because I didn't get much damage on the servitor. And hide when you can. Get back in your hidey hole. I don't know if I did that much damage to the servitor. I can't exactly tell how things are doing out there because it's really hard to see. Excuse you, Tracer Shank. I do not want to die to you. This is like the worst lighting video I have probably ever done, just because the lighting is awful. One of you guys should hopefully kill each other. Come on. There we go. So, where is said servitor? Really? Oh, he's out here in the middle. Alright, so now, shield is down. I'm not going to use the other explosive, because I don't need to. And at this point, work on your adds, and then it'll be time to put some damage into boss man again. Once you get kind of a spare moment of decency. Unless he just feels like teleporting on you, which is also fun. But if he's going to jump on me like that, I'm going to grenade launcher him. Pretty much no questions about it. Ow, ow, ow. Just don't grenade yourself into a wall. Once you get him below his final third, then we should be all shielded up, as I expected. And again, you've got to get four orbs onto the fun-loving servitor. I feel like it's time to uh, pet a chicken and hang out for a minute. Oh, servitor. Or shank. There, he moved. Thank you. Oh, servitor's on my face. And that's fun. So, not exactly what I would call an optimal solo run. If you got a group in any way, shape, fashion, or form, I highly advise it. Is it doable solo? Yes, just gotta have a lot of patience. 
And as other things would say, maybe you gotta have a little faith. I'm gonna grab some ammo. So I can take out the strength tracer shank so it doesn't kill me. That's actually gonna be three. Oh, come on. Back it off. Again, they do have kind of an invisible wall that will not go down quite as far. But again, if they're gonna drop their orbs, apparently there are only two that are available to be dropped. I'm gonna hit that servitor again four times. So, peek, go for your orb, get your throw. Overthrow it completely, just as I did. That's exactly what you want to do. Perfect job. Total awesome aim. Not potato aim, any aspect. Those Marauders, surprisingly, go down fairly easy with Ace of Spades. There we go. And as everything in here wants to explode or have a shotgun to kill you, I wouldn't advise too much proximity. Now, if it's my final shot to kill the boss, then I might use my, uh... Super... Apparently there's just a whole bunch of slowing grenades out here. This is cute. Tracer Chink, I'll just hit you with my little wonderful bow here. Let's see if I can kill some of those. There we go. Oh, man. So I want those, but I cannot even remotely reach them right now. I mean, I like Ace of Spades, but I feel like it could use a smidge more range. Or it's just potato aim on my part, which we all know is very true. Random exploding uh, ball there. Need a servitor shot. That's one. Don't get killed here. Oh, that was a little too close. Hi. Right. At least they go down in one shot. Those momentum, momentum mori shots, I swear, add like 30% damage. It's great. I cannot get another shot on that thing, so it does take four solo. Not much you can do about it. Just gotta be patient, work your way through. Use your safe sides on the front of the back, depending on where you feel like you get pinched. Just work them down. And again, I have my little mini Fist of Havoc slam, but they're exploder shanks. I don't want to have them explode into my face. I might do one grenade launcher, because that's such a perfect group over there. Now where do the orbs go? Because I know I just killed exploder shanks. Apparently don't kill Exploder Shanks with explosives, because you can't get the, uh... Oh, man. Oh, just keep running all the way to the other side. I'm not even going for it right now. I just gotta survive. Yep, play in the safe zone. More adds down there. That is fine. He is not happy, but he's close. I know this is what you would call um, the smoothest run ever. Of course, no questions about it. If you guys can't pick up my sarcasm, it's so thick in there, I don't even know what to tell you. But, explosive orb, try and get a little, little leeway from ugly. Chunk it in the back of the room. I'm pretty sure I'd just throw an explosive orb into a marauder. Way to take one for your team, buddy. Really making this longer than it has to be. There's just so much crap going on in here. The lighting is awful, I'm sure, in the video. You guys, if you make it, if you made it this far, hats off. That's some patience right there. There, Servitor is down. Now, if you feel like you want to clear out some ads real quick, they go a lot quicker when they're not shielded. Uh, dump some uh, grenade launcher ammo in the back. And then just for finishing him in proper fashion, I will do it with my super just because I love the missile. Make sure he's fairly golden. Or just gonna teleport and miss everything. That's perfect. I feel like this ought to be safe to finish him. And that'll do it. Don't get exploded now. That'd be a bad way to go. Let those guys disappear. Oh, there's so many of them. This is kind of insane. Holy crap! Die! Alright, so. Apparently the Exploder Shanks are part of the end of that thing, so try not to die. Pick up your uh, stuff. I got a go figure. And a death by scorn energy weapon. Also full. Well, I can get rid of the blue. So, And that is it, guys. So as you can tell, uh, a bit chaotic solo. I don't know if you throw the orbs together with a group. It's going to be quicker to take down the shield. Possibly if you have three people and you can actually hold all three at once. Shield, slam, slam. Like shield, throw, throw, like all three together. You might be able to kill it quicker. I'm not sure. Just going to have to try with other people. But for now, that is how you solo this thing. I'm sure this won't give me much. Of course. 
But that is how you go ahead and wipe out the 540 Wanted Bounty of the Week called Silent Fang. If you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like below if you found it informative. Share it with some friends. Leave a comment below if you want to say hey or got any questions. Other than that, thank you guys for tuning in very much. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not, and that alert bell helps me out a lot and also keeps me in your feed. Other than that, you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and just here is where I will be most of the time. So thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you soon. Have an awesome one. Enjoy your grind of the week and enjoy some Iron Banner. There's a lot of stuff to do in there. Peace.